no plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretending. We got no plans. This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. This week marks the one year anniversary for the Occupy movement, but that's not what this episode is about. It's about McNoodles. You see, on the anniversary of Occupy, a few thousand people went down to yet again try to shut down Wall Street, and many millions supported it from afar, supported those standing up against an unsustainable level of inequality that affects everything, from our standard of living, to our justice system, to whether you can afford your own personal lobbyist to pay your congressperson to give a tip of a turd about you. But most of the largest media outlets hardly covered Occupy, because there was more important news going on. For instance, I checked CNN and garnering more coverage than Occupy was a story on a Florida teenage girl's hair being pulled out by a machine in a high school shop class. When I saw this, I was taken aback. I was aghast. I wet my already poop-stained pants. I simply cannot believe that in this supposedly advanced country of ours, we still have shop class? What the hell are we teaching these kids? How to be a cargo cult? Yes, if there is one thing these young adults need before they venture out into the world, it is solid whittling skills. Is there a class on how to properly sacrifice a goat to the sun god Ra? Because that would be equally crucial. Above Huffington Post's single article on Occupy, was the heart-stopping headline, Are You Ready For McNoodles? I'm not kidding. And apparently, I'm not even ready for an article on McNoodles. This is a game changer. This is a showstopper. Hang on to your photographs of how things used to be. Because after McNoodle Apocalypse, nothing will ever be the same. Printing press, automobile, McNoodles. What are three things that change the world? And as if it's not asinine enough already, the post was about McDonald's noodles coming to Austria. It wouldn't be news in the United States if Austria got a nuclear sub, but it's somehow news that they got a noodlier supper? And finally, one of the top stories on Fox News, as they largely ignored Occupy, was, quote, Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania, considering plan to purge downtown of pooches. Clearly, this story was chosen 100% for its alliteration value, which, let's face it, is through the roof! Of course, this does mean we can only hope that when there are serious emergencies, they involve words with the same first letter. If there's a massive hurricane heading towards New York City, we better pray to the Almighty that it's a hurricane of hungry hippos. Otherwise, it will get no news coverage at all, and we'll be screwed. This explains how Bin Laden was able to plan an attack, but the secret attack by the big-titted terrorists of Turkestan was doomed from the get-go. The point is, these so-called news outlets are only reporting on things a toddler would report to her imaginary pony. So who's covering the real stuff? Truthout.org, Democracy Now!, Alternet, RealNews.com, and several others. On the anniversary of the first global protest movement in my lifetime, Truthout had in-depth articles on it. And they also cover things like the unmentionable war in Afghanistan and the court cases around the completely not constitutional indefinite detention of American citizens. The Constitution and indefinite detention have nothing to do with each other. They're like Clint Eastwood and an empty chair. When you put the two anywhere near each other, it makes no sense! And you're left confused and scared and in a fetal position. So get your truth from real news sources and help keep them going because otherwise you're only going to hear stories on the Munchy Multi Grain McNoodles. That's been your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. Seriously, support your independent media sources. It's the only way they can do what they do. And if you're new to my stuff, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for free to get Moment of Clarity twice a week in your inbox. And check out my podcast and my book at LeeCamp.net. Thanks. Keep fighting. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretending.